morning started with cold sweats, um, fever, chills, I'm feeling like I was going to vomit my guts out. Hi, I'm Coach Bruce. I'm an ADHD life coach, and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. Uh, this is day five, no ADHD medication, and for the first day, I really felt it. I don't know why I was surprised to be going through withdrawal whenever I've been on a legally allowed sub, you know, stimulant, a basically speed for 20 years. I've been taking prescribed speed for 20 years, and for some reason, it shocked me this morning whenever I was feeling the effects of just going cold turkey off of it. Um, I've done research, and I know that it's not suggested to just cold turkey cut off your medication, but I've, you know, I've been off for a few days here and there before, and I hadn't really felt any major effects. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I thought that uh, I was just, I got sick, because I know that whenever I take my medication, my former medication, I often would be able to push through sicknesses I'd felt in, felt in the past. So I thought maybe, oh, the sickness is just coming. It was just a different sickness. Apparently, my body is dependent on Adderall. And it has been a bit of a struggle to have it today. That's hard. It's hard to not have it whenever you were trying to homeschool your kids, build a business, be a better husband, show up for everybody in the home, and then also reach out to people like you and make a difference. But what I figured out is that whether I have it or not, it's possible to design your life to where you can show up every day and not beat yourself up whenever you don't do it all. See, the all or nothing mentality is very common for ADHD adults. We want to believe that if we can't be fully committed, we can't do something as big as or as well as possible, then we just shouldn't attempt it. And I've learned that, that is a, that's a farce. It is our brain telling us in an, in an opposite way that we're not good enough. If you can't do it that way, you might as well not do it. And that is exactly how you stay paralyzed and you keep distance between yourself and your goals. I have learned personally that even on days when I don't have it, that doesn't mean I don't have something. I can't do the full workout. Sure, I'm like I feel like I'm going to hurl. But it doesn't mean I can't do a, f a few curls. A few repetition means something. I can't do all the computer work I usually do. I don't feel like chasing down leads today and calling and talking to people on the phone. But I was able to sit on the couch and watch videos and uh, improve my skill set. I was able to expand my mind and expand my, my business acumen without having to overexert myself. And for me, that's a win. Instead of in the past, what I would have done, I'd be like, well, you feel like crap today. You might as well turn on a movie and completely check out. Don't check in with your family. Don't do homeschool. Don't do anything. That's not who I am anymore. My, my responsibility Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is to show up and homeschool my kids. I showed up. Was I as enthusiastic and reading with voices as I tend to most times? No, not today. But I read, I took breaks as needed, and we got through all of our homeschool stuff in fairly good time and with very low, fairly low incident because I just showed up. It's funny how whenever you show up for your family, they allow you to be enough. But when you don't show up, somehow you never feel like enough. I think that the the common denominator there is you. It's me. It's us showing up or not. It's not them. They don't have all they don't have our past story of not being enough. We've always been enough for them. We just have to show up. So that is how I've how I've handled situations like this more and more often recently is instead of thinking, well, like, I can't hit my, my quantitative metrics today, so I might as well just throw in the towel before the day even starts. I just show up, and I try to do something that is going to improve my body, something that is going to improve my being, my, my relationship with God, something that is going to uh, improve my balance with my family and my wife, and something that's going to improve my business or my business mind. And if I can do that every single day, a year from now, I will be closer to being the person I want to be in all four of those areas of my life. Because every day before, whenever I would shut down, 
not only would I not be moving closer to my goals, I'd be tearing down the progress that I made because I would be so viciously like destructive of my mental state. Oh, you can't do anything. You're worthless. You know, you, you can't meet these goals. You can't do, you can't build a business because I didn't show up for myself. But if you just show up for yourself and have less expectation, just be proud of yourself for showing up, you'll start to build confidence and you'll start to see these wins as ammo in your, in your pocket for you to be able to shoot down the targets that are coming up. So that is me today, keeping it short as hell because I'm ready to get back to the couch and now fully relax because I've done a full day. I've hit all my, all my quantitative metrics or my qualitative metrics for today. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud. I showed up and the day showed up for me as well. But now I'm going to go just relax and sweat it out. Uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day.